this time feels so good. Like, so good. I didn't even get through the door. I literally stopped at the garden. And I sat right here, and I'm like, this sun feels so good. I moved the chair, the table. I'm like, I'm gonna sit here for a minute. So I've just been sitting here for like the past 20 minutes, listening to the a podcast. Well, actually, yeah, it is a podcast. It's an astrology update podcast. And just taking in the sun. I'm looking at the bees flying around these plants in front of me. Like, there's so much beauty in this moment. I mean, yeah, me too. I'm beautiful. But besides me, <laughs> we're talking about, like, the external beauty. Like, I feel so good today, y'all. Like, I, I don't know what it is. You know what it is? It's me choosing me. Like, and I actually made a journal entry yesterday. I want to read it to y'all. I'm not going to do it right now. But um, it was just this click. It was this click. It's like a rebirth. Like, I decided that I, I'm starting new. You know, like, I'm choosing a different path. And so, I choose to be happy. It's easy to be happy. It requires so much energy to be upset to be miserable, to hate the world, to hold resentment, to, to be jealous and envious of other people, but to genuinely be happy for people when you look at their situation and look at who they are as like a soul, as their being, you just see the beauty in it. You see how beautiful it is that someone that was once a baby, that couldn't even, that was codependent on everyone around them, their environment around them to grow up and to go after the things that they want and accomplish them that's beautiful that's beautiful so um yeah i just kind of see that because i was on instagram i went back on instagram yesterday and i'm looking at all these people i'm like wow like people like my old co-workers my old schoolmates they're moving they're traveling they're getting their apartments like that's beautiful that's beautiful these are all things that i am taking the steps to accomplishing for myself so when i see that in the world around me that just gives me more motivation more drive to keep going to keep doing the things that i love and um yeah the world is inspirational like the the world is literally our inspiration and what we create the life that we create for ourselves is literally based on the things that we're taking in the things that we're seeing around us it's kind of like you're in art class and um you have to like draw this i don't know this this plant right you have to like paint this plant and so um you're painting this plant but as you're painting the plant that's in front of you, you're also looking around the room for, like, different things, different different perspectives, thing, different things within your environment to enhance this plant, to, to bring it more alive, to put your own creativity into it. And so I kind of believe, like, that's, that's how our life is. Like, we have our vision. We see what we're focused on. We know the life that we're trying to create for ourselves because we're looking at the plant like we can see it not maybe physically right now but we can see it in our mind and that's enough for us to know the life we're trying to paint the life that we're trying to create um but sometimes the outside world we're looking around if you look too long in a different direction you take your eyes off of your plants um you kind of start mimicking that you kind of start taking in that energy you start creating um the new focus the shift in focus so you start creating a world catered towards something like that and if the thing that you've drifted off to looking at for too long it starts to become that you could be looking at 
a garbage can. You went from a plant to a garbage can. Now you're creating garbage. Like you're you're starting to paint garbage because that is the only focus you have right now. That's what your mind is focused on. So you're eventually gonna start creating that life for yourself. So full circle moment, but um keep your focus on your plant. Yes, the, there's so many different things around you in your environment that will come up. But if you focus too long on it, something that you truly don't desire to have a part of your life, a part of your story, you're going to get distracted. And you're going to start creating a life that was never a part of the original plan, was never part of your mission. So um, I'm not saying don't allow your eyes to wander because, yes, we get inspiration for our creativity from the world around us so yes wander explore but always remember to come back to center always remember to come back and bring your focus back to your plan and honestly everything i just said is literally um what what meditation is what grounding yourself is you're remembering your mission you're remembering that you you're sitting down or laying down however you meditate and you're sitting with yourself you're focused on just simply being just when you're when you, when you know when you have the vision in front of you there's you don't have to you don't have to worry about how it's going to happen and and what you need to do to get there no you know it's going to happen so you're going to continue to live your life the way you want to live your life the th- doing the things that make you happy because you know it's in alignment with your vision so yeah, just remember to just come back to your plan. Always remember to shift your focus back to where you're going. If you need another analogy, you think about when you're driving. If you're looking straight, you're going to go straight. But if, you know, some, your, your passenger is like, hey, look at that. Look at that guy doing that thing over there. And then you look over there. Eventually, the car is going to drift over there. Same, same concept. Same thing. Remember to shift your focus back to where you're going. Remember, you you create your reality. That's what I mean when I say you create your reality. Like, this is literally our world, our painting. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What choices are you going to make today to help you align with the life you're trying to create for yourself? It's all you. Nobody's coming to save you. I know we heard it five billion times before, but nobody is coming to save you. Nobody's going to get you out of bed and push you to, to come to the library to do the things that you need to do. Nobody. So get up and do it. And remember, sometimes you're going to be distracted. And not all distractions are bad distractions. Because I was just coming to the library and I said, I'm going to go in. I'm going to type up my invoices for my orders this week. And I'm going to edit a video that I filmed, like, basically, like, showing, showcasing my hair growth oil. Because look at it. The hair is growing. <laughs> and I thought that was going to, that's what I was going to do. And then leave, go, go food shopping. But no, I sat here, I saw an empty seat, I saw the sun was shining, I'm right next to the garden, and I'm like, I'm gonna sit here and bask in this energy. And that's exactly what I did. And who would have knew that I would have came to this moment, sat here, and started recording this video? I don't know who this video is for. It probably, it could have just been for me, but if it's for me, then it's for you, because you are me and I am you. We all go through the same things in life, y'all. We are never alone. Don't don't forget that you are never alone. Like, and if you ever feel alone, come watch one of my videos <laughs> here on TikTok or my YouTube channel. But you are never alone because we all go through the exact same things. We may experience them in different situations, but we feel the same emotions. We're all human. It's part of the experience. So, yeah, just like I hope this I hope this really resonates with someone because I'm. I, I'm speaking. I'm speaking life into you. I really am speaking life. Like, I'm speaking life into you. Like I really want you to go after the things that you say you want to go after. I want you to create the life that you want to create for yourself. I want you to show up for yourself every single day because you know that what you want is already yours, and you can have everything you want. You can do anything you want. So yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. Listen, Sasha.